Yo guys, I finally made it in. It was horrible. You can see the crowd here outside. They're all ready to come in. I'm still in. And I'm going. I'm going to wait here. I'm going to wait here for the GBB when it's open. But I think I'm gonna take a beer to calm down because I waited really, really long. <laughs> a little background story after I took my beer, I just watched the people who wanted to qualify for the seven to smoke in the hall. And I watched them, and I was like thinking, okay, they are not so good as I was expecting. And when I was waiting outside in the crowd for coming in in the hall, I was staying in a group with so many people and there was one guy from Netherlands. I just hear his beatbox and he was really, really good. And after he came in, I just ran to him and I said, yo, please try to pass to the cell to smoke because until now you are for me the best beatboxer here from the crowd. And yeah, guys, that's him. And just see what he done. <laughs> Is your name? My name is Ignis from the Netherlands. And how do you spell this? I G N I S. Thank you. And ladies and gentlemen, count them down in three, two, one, three, Yeah guys, believe me or not, but he made it for the registration and he was live on the stage on the 7 to smoke elimination guys. And if Iginess made it through the elimination, I don't want to spoil it, just wait for the video, but he performs really well. Props on you my homie, and I wish you the best of luck and hopefully we see us on the next GBB 2022. <laughs> Yo guys, <coughs> day two. Oh shit, I couldn't record so much because there was some many problems at the beginning of the GBB 2021. For exact, um, in the main station there got some Aldi cook problems and we need to wait I guess like three hours more or something like that and it was really really too much and I wasn't like what am I doing? Because it's my first time at the GBB and yeah, so I didn't catch the camera, I didn't record too much and I also wanted to, you know, got my own experiment without the camera in the first day because the stage was huge, oh my lord. It was really huge and I also, as I said, it was my first time at the GBB and I also wanted, you know, to feel the energy live on the stage. Guys, what I also need to say is I got the result of the first day, which beatbox, which loop station beatboxer is through and who didn't pass the elimination and guys i'm not happy with the result that's the big problem because when i was on the stage <clears throat> i listened carefully and i was like i have a feeling who is through who is not the problem here is there are people who i was gonna expect that they are through this this elimination aren't through <laughs> and i'm sitting right here on my laptop and i'm watching the stream again because i think the main problem was that the speakers on the stage was a little bit too strong for this complication that's my little own taste because there was beatboxer or loop station beatboxer who performs really really well but they aren't through or some beatboxer got their problem with the with the audio like the loop station people the gaspar carbon breeze dicey at the beginning so there are a lot of loops and beatbox who got all the good problems and yeah guys i decided not to talk too much in this video about my own experience on the gbp 2021 i decided to make an extra video for you guys so yeah guys let's move on to the result so guys 
I just watched all the loop station videos right now on the live stream again and yeah I think the decisions for, from the judge are okay but with one division I'm not really happy and this is the decision where KBA is on the place 11 and I just watch it like you know like for four times five times and normally he should be under the top eight because ah, how did he not pass in the top eight I was on the stage yesterday and it was everything perf perfect for real this this should be under the top eight that ah but that's that's really pissed me a little bit off but okay i'm not the judge with all the other um, competitors like biscuit ritman six chris tertian mm, i think there should be kba not him in my opinion dicey frosty robin arc they are all guys where i also was saying like okay they are through these competitions through the elimination so yeah everything is like i was expect expecting but with chris tertian i was like hoping that he and kba kba gonna switch their place like kba is in and he is not in because his round wasn't that good at kba's round was in my opinion and also like you know also balance make a really good job mate makes a really really nice job digimind also it was really catchy they make a catchy track it the crowd the guys trust me kba came the crowd was like this kba and his track the crowd was like this and as i said i can't understand why he isn't under the top eight but it's all right it's not bad so we're gonna see today ritman versus breeze and wow what a round who hard Xin versus Frosty, that's really nice, really, really nice. Chris Dötian versus Dicey, I mean, it's it should be Dicey. And Biscuit versus Robin, so my protection, fast. Ritman versus Breeze, I think Ritman gonna win this, sadly. Xin versus Frosty, I'm gonna say that Xin is gonna win. Chris Dötian can. Uh, Chris Dötian versus Dicey, Dicey, Biscuit versus Robin, and I think if, if Biscuit is not stupid, and there I'm gonna say if Biscuit is clever, he don't mm, make you know chili YB traps tracks because Robin is the best chili YB track loop station artist in the history. So you need to battle him versus you know hard drop, catchy drop. You know he must try to destroy Robin with battle elements, not with Chili Y, because Robin is is uh, you can't you can beat him at this level. That's the loop stash prediction for today, and guys, also let's go to the solo. This was really hard to judge in my opinion because there was so many eliminations for exactly 26 eliminations as you can see the background you have the list Thomas Sacre was really really uh, it's it's hard to talk about Thomas Sacre's elimination Mr. Androdice was yeah let's skip everything because the, these guys wasn't that good and I also was thinking like you know they just for me it was like they are here and they just want to enjoy the battle and didn't use 100% of their power but it's just my opinion, so yeah, don't really think something about it. Like, till max upwards, everything was really good. Dan was amazing, also amazing. Max was good. Sadly, that improver did make in on under the top 16. Sadly, because he was wow, he was also cool, really, really good. Then, starting with Helium, Helium really good, 0, B8. Zeka was like, mm, <clears throat> not so catchy. I could see here improve more than Zeka, but yeah, okay. Vodaka was really good. His was good. Footbox was amazing. Wah. LM was really, really good. Elise, wow, Alexino, River, Collapse, Na Napalm, Gene, DK, and Inter uh, Inertia. With this, guys, I'm really happy. I have nothing to say about this. And to go for my prediction today, 
Decoy, decoy versus Zero. I'm gonna say that Decoy, or the K, 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 Decoy, gonna win. Alexina versus Footbox. That's really, it hurts. Ah, it hurts so much. But I'm gonna say Footbox. I'm gonna say for Footbox because I have just this feeling. Genius Beard. I guess Beard gonna smash him. So Beard gonna win this. River versus his. Oh, the next hard decision. Ah, fuck my life. If his can counter River good, then his is gonna win. But it's hard. I guess it is his. I guess it is his. Collapse versus Vo Vodaka. Collapse is gonna win. Napalm versus Seika. Oh, Jesus. Napalm. Elish versus LM. LM is gonna win. Inertia versus Helium. Mm. I was hoping that Helium got an easy enemy to destroy. But Inertia. Oh, shit. Inertia is gonna win. Sadly. Ah. Yeah, guys. That's my clue. This is my summer for the day one and my protection for day two. The battle. And as I said, um, I really was like thinking the speakers are too much for this thing. The beatboxing is like, you know, if you do someone a bass, then the whole, the whole area is shaking and that's too much, guys. As I said, if someone like loop station to a hi-hat and then he's trying to sing, I just hear the hi-hats or the bass. Here on the video, on the stream, you didn't hear this really good. But trust me guys, on the stage, like as I said, KBA, you didn't hear enough bass in this stream, but his track was really bassy with, with the melody, it was 10 out of 10. So I can't understand why he's, he isn't through this elimination. But yeah, but as I said, I think the speakers, the, uh, it's, it's too much. But I am hoping that today is going to be a better day. And yeah guys, now I'm trying to reset everything, I'm just getting cooled down. And I will say we see us in the river viewing on the top of this hotel, guys. See you later for relaxing.